Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly again from AnimatorsForum.com as well as Real Illusion Forum. And my channel here. Hopefully you'll subscribe, if nothing more than just to get whatever uh, ideas you might get from me or possibly help me out. Uh, so anyway, t this morning I'm going to show you something that I think will, most of you will find useful. Uh, here's, a, here's a sequence. This, this particular, not sequence, a scene. I brought this in from uh, Daz. Uh, this is their Wild West thing. It looks pretty cool. And one of the reasons that this looks so good, uh, and, and almost any um, model looks good if the right textures are applied to it. So um, you, the problem is that when we try to get scenes like this in from Daz uh, and export them as OBJ, which you should be doing, uh, bring them in through 3D Exchange, then you lose a lot of the materials. As a matter of fact, you... You lose most of them. Some of the bump maps may come over, maybe some opacity, but uh, most everything else, roughness, metallic won't come over. You won't get normals. Uh, it's just not a good deal. So, uh, and, and some of you that have been following my channel know that I've had a blender routine uh, on and off that does manage this, uh, but it requires that you install blender and that you put the plugin in blender and that you bring it. It's a lot of extra steps. So we have Python now inside of iClone. Uh, we've had it for quite some time now. It's still in the beta uh, phase, which is why it warns you when it comes up. Uh, but I'm trying to port over my routines that, that transfer the, um, the different maps over from Daz into iClone. And this is my first pass. This is in a beta stage. So if you want to use it, uh, be aware that it is beta. That doesn't mean it's not going to crash your system or anything. That's... Uh, uh, but it but it may not transfer all the textures correctly. But we're going to talk about that in a second. First of all, Wild West Town. So if, let's talk about getting this scene first, even into iClone first. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to actually uh, open up the version without all the textures lo loaded in, and you can see that it's uh, much less impressive without all the different bump maps and textures loaded in. So you can see there's not it's not nearly as detailed. Lo loses all those details without those bump maps. So how do we fix that? So first we go to, to Daz. This is Daz. And this is the, the scene as it is in Daz. It would be great if we had a 60... And I'm going to keep complaining about this all the time. It would be great if we had a 64-bit version of 3D Exchange. We don't have... Probably never will have. So, you know, that's just one of the things we have to deal with. Uh, so how do we get this this big model in? Well, it won't go in on, on its own. You're going to have to split it up. So it comes in like this. What I did, and this is kind of a trial and error thing, is you just... Uh, basically take some of the stuff out. So what I did is I split it into the... I took out all of the um, man-made items here, like this. Don't need those. I deleted those out, and then I saved this version as an OBJ. And then you come right back to Daz, and you hit Control-Z, and you get back all those items. And then I deleted these things out. <laughs> and and then I saved that version. Okay, you don't, you don't need the cameras, but, you know, whatever. Um... So that's how I did it, and that did work. That so, But with other sequences, you're going to have to experiment. Sometimes you're going to get frustrated because some stuff will get in, but some other stuff won't. Uh, it's just a trial and error basis. But it's, it's worth doing to, uh, to get the scenes in. So what I wanted to show you, though, was what you have to do here for my routine to work is when you go to export, like I said, we always want to do an OBJ export for a lot of reasons. I don't want to go into that now, but... Um, you want to export it to a directory, and some I have an export directory in my documents. You're going to want to know this directory that you're in, and I'll show you why in a second. Yeah, you export it as an OBJ. I'm just going to, I'm just for that, we'll just do it, overwrite it. I don't care. So I want to show you something. We want to make sure we have a uh, right material library with original maps. You need both of those things checkmarked, okay? Definitely make sure you have those things checkmarked. Original maps and right material library. The original maps means it's going to use the maps that, that belong in this library instead of collecting the maps and putting them in a different directory. We want the original maps We want it uh, because it's going to show us where they came from. And we're going to have to look in those directories to find other maps. So that's why we need that. So I'm not going to do that now. I'm actually not going to do anything with this at the moment because I've already done that. So then you bring it into Exchange. I'm not even going to go through Exchange. You just bring it there into Exchange, and then you export it from Exchange. I don't, as a rule, when I'm in Exchange, I don't uh, do anything other than apply to iClone. I don't save it out separately. 
I don't bother. You know, you could go into Exchange and, and when you load in an item, you can then go apply to iClone. That's all I do. I don't save it as a prop or whatever. I just apply it to iClone. And then for my clone, I can save it as I want it. But you can do however you want it. So that's what I do with both of those pieces. And then they come in like this, okay? So now what we have is we have these props in here with these names that came from the OBJs. And for example, uh, we'll just look at the canyons, for example, just to start off with. We'll go into the materials, and you'll notice that there's really nothing here other than the base color, okay? Just those base colors. We don't have any... Any uh, normals, bumps, we don't have any roughness or metallics. I don't think there's any metallics in the canyon anyway. So so where are all those maps? Well, they happen to be in... Uh, well, first let's go and let me bring in my, uh, my other routine here. This is the material file that we wrote out, uh, that Daz wrote out for us, this MTL. And this actually shows what maps came over. So if you ever want to look at it, that's a text file. You can look at it. And so, for example, in this kerosene lamp material, there's the map for that kerosene lamp. And it gives you the full directory of where it resides. So this is my directory. Yours will look differently, obviously. It doesn't matter. Um, so what, we, what we're going to do, what my routine is going to do, is read these different materials and find the directory for where the maps are located. Okay? So far, are you with me so far? So that gives us the base material map. That's one thing. Then what we want to do then is find all the other materials. So for example, this one's a metallic. This is the normal. This is a roughness. And it finds that by doing pattern matching. And uh, I've shown you this in the past. I'm not going to belabor this, but my routine goes through and matches up patterns and then picks up the other, um, the other files, basically, and puts them in there. So uh, in the pattern matching... <clears throat> It's not perfect. It's going to ignore some things. It's going to ignore height maps, for example. Uh, it's going to ignore uh, things that it doesn't know how to process. A and also even uh, some things it won't find properly if they're not named in a certain pattern. <clears throat> now, these are nice. These are all named really nice. Normal, roughness, that's pretty easy. But if you come down here, I'll show you some that have weird names. Here's a here's the one that has NRM, so I have to account for that as a normal. Okay. Uh, here's one that, that calls the base color couleur de surface. Uh, obviously, this guy's French because he, he slips into French from time to time. Uh, same thing when he talks about somewhere he has a normal up here with a, the French spelling of normal. Uh, where is it? i see if I can find it here. I'm probably not going to be able to find it offhand. I'm looking... Uh, anyway, wherever, wherever it is. So, so in, in my programming, I have to try to account for all that. And uh, I can't. You know, it's impossible to account for all the different developers and all the different ways they use. Unfortunately, Daz developers don't have a standard. They just do whatever the hell they want to do. And uh, so when they're, when they're reasonable, I can figure them out. Sometimes I can't. So, uh, so that's why this is in beta. Because what I'd like you to do is if you try this, those of you that are brave enough to try this and run this, uh, then you can tell me what's missing. You know, you can say, hey, you know, Mike, and, and I'll show you how that happens. So what happens is uh, we have this load materials Python routine, and I'm going to give you the Dropbox link to this in the comments below. I'm also going to link to the uh, place that you're going to need to load uh, the new iClone version. Uh, this is the iClone Plugin developer, if you own 7, you're, you're allowed to download this version. This is a beta version, and it talks about this. It is a beta version, so you will uh, download it from here, wherever it is. Here's the patch. There's a download link. This is the latest link here, 227, 219, but it's always, it's always updated all the time. And what it says is it contains functions not behave properly, so you've got to be careful. It, it comes up with a warning. That doesn't mean that anything it does other than Python is anything you have to worry about. It's all it's all the same other than Python. But the Python stuff can do weird things, and you always have to make sure that you save your your work and understand that that's one of the things that you may have to deal with. Uh, but I've been using the Python version since it came out, perfectly stable in all other regards, and even the Python is pretty stable. So, uh, so anyway, so then once you get that version installed. Then you just uh, put my routine somewhere, wherever you want it. And then I highly recommend you use the council log here. We're going to clear this uh, just so you can see how this looks. So council log, 
<clears throat> I actually have it attached as another window. You can come up here and, and find it somewhere. See, there's the council log. I bring it up and then I attach it so I have a separate window. So then we're going to load the script in. That's all we do. Oh, the second thing is got to make sure you've, you've selected one or more items. If you don't select anything, it'll just come right back and say, I'm done and, done, and won't do anything. Uh, and, but you'll know that because it'll tell you what objects it works on. Uh, you can select more than one. It does take a while, like for this this last one here. Actually, this first one, I think it takes about a minute and a half. And I'm going to cut that out of this demo so you're not sitting here waiting for that. But um, So you might not want to select more than one. Plus, it might confuse the issue. And we're going to show you that in a second. So we're going to run this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to mention this real quick while it is still running. Um, you notice it'll say not responding, and then you'll get the old Windows thing. You don't worry about that. It is running. It's working. It's taking its time in the background. Uh, for large numbers of files, it, it has to load in the uh, you know the maps and do a lot of things, and it could take a few minutes. It's not shouldn't take more than three or four minutes at the most, but uh, it, it could very well take a couple of minutes. So you got to be patient. And then when it's done, it comes back like this. Okay, so. Uh, that's the object it worked on, Wild West Canyons. It couldn't find a match for these items. Now, uh, this is a bump map. I know why it doesn't match. It doesn't right now match bump maps. The reason I didn't do that is it's kind of complicated, but I'll try to sum it up. Uh, bump maps normally come over, so I don't really worry about them. But also, I have to account for the fact that it might have a normal instead, and we always want the normal rather than the bump map. So... I'm going to work on that. I'm going to, if there's no normal, I'm actually going to stick in, and there's no bump map, I'll try to stick this in too. Uh, displacement map, that's kind of like height. I can actually ignore that too, and I probably will ignore that too. So, uh, but you may get a lot more maps that'll come in that, that you know, and, and that's why I say is I, I'm going to try to find matches for all that stuff. But if I don't, uh, let me know. And uh, so anyway, if we go to modify and we go back to these materials, now you can see that they have roughness and, and normal maps uh, installed in all of these. So uh, so it did all that. So that's that's what we wanted. It found all those maps for us, and we didn't have to, uh, to stick them in, and, and they're all done. And uh, there aren't any metallic maps in this, but it also works for metallics. Uh, so... Uh, one other thing I want to mention before I let this go is that when you get my routine, you will have to edit a line. Don't be scared. This is a, <laughs> my routine. is a It's a text file, so you can open up Notepad or whatever you want to, to edit text. And you're going to have to edit your own path here. Uh, I'm using, my, for exports, I'm using, uh, my name is Mike. That's my directory. And so it's inside Documents Exports. Uh, you might want to use whatever your username is. Leave these double slices in. Double slices delineate things. And I would just recommend making an exports directory inside your document. So uh, whatever your username is, you can just put username. Just save that out, and then that's you know that's what you have. So um, so that's that's what you'll have to do. And like I say, my version will keep changing as we go. Uh, as I make improvements, and if I make anything major improvements, I'll let you know here and do another video on whatever I might change. But hopefully this will help get your textures into uh, iCloud from uh, Daz, and we'll see you on the forums.